In this video, we will try to solve the numerical for first colligative property, which is relative lowering of vapor pressure. Let us see the numerical. The vapor pressure of pure benzene at a certain temperature is 0 0.850 bar. A non-volatile non-electrolyte solid weighing 0 0.5 gram when added to 39 gram of benzene having molar mass 78 gram mole inverse. Vapor pressure of the solution then is 0 0.845 bar. What is the molar mass of the solid substance? Here bar is the metric unit of pressure. We are asked to find out the molar mass of the solid substance. The vapor pressure of benzene is mentioned and also the molar mass is mentioned. We are asked to find the molar mass of the solid substance. So, as we always do, we will write down whatever it is mentioned in the question. So, PA0. Remember that whenever you see 0, it is indicating a pure component. So, it is already mentioned the vapor pressure of pure benzene. That means this will be denoted with a 0. So, PA0. Vapor pressure of benzene is given as 0 0.850 bar. PS, vapor pressure of the solution is given as 0 0.845 bar. Now, molar mass is given as 78 gram mole inverse. That means molar mass of the benzene. Now, weight is also given as 39 gram. Weight of the benzene and W2 is the weight of the solid. So here we are indicating benzene as 1 and the solid as 2. So it is given as 0 0.5 gram. And we very well know that this is the very formula for relative lowering of vapor pressure whenever we are trying to find out molecular mass of any substance. So now what we will do is we will simply put all the values given for all the parameters. So here we know that PA0 already is given as 0 0.850 minus PS where the pressure of the solution is also given as this PA0 once again 0 0.850. W2 is given as 0 0.5 into 78 M1. M2 is given as, here we see that mass of benzene is given, but mass of this substance is not given. Here weight is given, but what is the molecular mass? Molecular mass is not mentioned, weight is only mentioned. So, the question is also asking us to find out the molecular mass. So, molecular mass of the solid substance is not known. And weight of benzene is given as 39. So, upon subtraction we will get 0 0.005 divided by 0 0.850. Upon multiplication we get 39. M2 into 39. So, 39, 39 cancelled. So, now upon cross multiplication, we get 0 0.005 into M2 is equal to 0 0.850. So, M2 can be written as 850 divided by 0 0.005. So, upon division, you will get 170 gram mole inverse gram mole inverse is the unit of molecular mass so our motive is done the question asks us to find the molecular mass of the solid substance which we indicated as 2 finally we found out the molar mass of the solid substance so we got the answer our task is done let us try to solve the numerical for the second colligative property which is alleviation of boiling point. 
18 gram of glucose is dissolved in 1 kg of water in a saucepan. At what temperature will water boil at 1.013 bar? Kb for water is 0 0.52 kilokg mole inverse. Molality is also mentioned in your question if you see the full question in your page 51. And Kb, if you remember, it is the proportionality constant known as molar elevation constant or ebulloscopic constant. Since in this question we are not asked to find the molar mass, we will not be using the complex formula where molecular mass is mentioned. We will be using the simple formula where your boiling point is mentioned because the question is asking us to find the temperature at what the water will start boiling. So the first thing since mass of glucose is mentioned, so moles of glucose, we know that it is given as mass of the component divided by the molecular mass. Molecular mass we are getting in this way. Now I hope you will be familiar how to calculate the molecular mass. So I don't think it is necessary to explain. So upon division you will get 0 0.1 mole. As I mentioned that we will not be using the complex formula. We will be using the simple formula which is del Tb elevation of boiling point is equal to the proportionality constant multiplied with molality. Kb is already given in the question which is 0 0.52. So 0 0.52 into molality. Molality is also mentioned in the question which is 0 0.1. So upon calculation del Tb we get 0 0.052 K. Now our motive is to find out the boiling point of the water. So we will use the formula del Tb is equal to del Tb minus Tb naught. Why are we using this formula? Because we have to find out the temperature at which the water will start boiling. That means we have to find out the boiling point. So here del Tb we have already calculated which is 0 0.052 is equal to we have to find this out so we will write as it is minus tb naught now what is the boiling point of the pure component since we are calculating this question in other words if in this question it is mentioned in bars so we have to calculate the temperature in kelvin not celsius so the boiling point of pure water we know that it is 100 degrees celsius but in kelvins it is 373.15 kelvin or 373.2 kelvin we will be using in kelvin because in question bar is mentioned as the unit of pressure so here it can be written as tb is equal to 0 0.052 plus 373.15 K. If this is brought to the left hand side, so upon conversion, minus will get converted into plus. Because this very number from the left hand side, it will be transferred to the right hand side. So it will be converted to plus. So upon addition we will get 373.202 Kelvin. So this is our ultimate answer. So we found out at what temperature the water will start boiling. That means Tb is equal to 373.202 Kelvin. Let us do the calculation for the third colligative property which is depression in freezing point. This numerical is given in page 54 example 2.9. 45 gram of ethylene glycol 
is mixed with 600 gram of water calculate the freezing point depression and the freezing point of the solution in this case as well we will not be using the complex formula because we are not asked to find the molar mass we will simply be finding the freezing point and the freezing point of the solution that means we have to find the freezing point depression and freezing point of the solution so you have to remember two values that is kb for water is 0 0.52 and kf for water is 1.86 you have to remember this value so we know that kf for water is 1.86 and mass of ethylene glycol denoted as w2 is given as 45 gram now molecular mass of ethylene is 62 gram mole inverse how will you get 62 you have to find the molecular mass of this formula so 12 into 2 plus 1 into 6 plus 16 into 2 you will be getting 62 the molecular mass of ethylene glycol now the blue one that means the mass of water is also mentioned as 600 gram and we know that freezing point depression in freezing point is equal to kf and molality that means this is the depression in freezing point constant kf into molality so kf we already know it is 1.86 and molality it is w2 by m2 into 1000 by w1 now how this is coming it, you might be getting confused we know that molality is nb by wa or w1 let's say 1 when given in gram it will be multiplied with 1000 and we also know that nb is equal to mass of the solute by its molecular mass so in Instead of NB, we can directly write this. So ultimately, here how what we will get W2 by M2 into 1000 by W1. This is how we are getting this very formula. So here upon calculation, we will get W2 is 45 into 1000 m2 is 62 into w1 is 600 so upon calculation we will get 2.2 k so now we have to find the freezing point of the solution we already got depression in freezing point we got as 2.2 k now we have to find the freezing point of the solution. So Tf, we have Tf0 minus del Tf. This is a formula to be used when you have to find the freezing point of the solution. Tf0. Tf0 for water is 273 Kelvin minus del tf we already found 2.2 equal to upon subtraction you will get 270.8 kelvin this is a fixed value tf naught for water is 273 remember this as well as remember these values so this is how you will calculate your freezing point depression and freezing point of the solution let us do the calculation for the fourth colligative property which is osmosis and osmotic pressure. 200 cm cube of an aqueous solution of a protein contain 
1.26 gram of the protein. The osmotic pressure of such a solution at 300 Kelvin is found to be 2.57 into 10 to the power minus 3 bar. Calculate the molecular mass of the protein. So in this case we have to calculate the molecular mass. So let us first write down whichever value is given. So we denote osmotic pressure with a pi. So pi osmotic pressure, osmotic pressure is given as 2.57 into 10 to the power minus 3 bar. Now here the blue B that is mass of the this aqua solution of protein contain 1.26 gram of protein that means mass of the protein is 1.26 gram volume is mentioned as 200 centimeter cube this is in centimeters so we will convert it into liters 200 divided by 1000 so we will get 0 0.200 liter and temperature is already mentioned 300 Kelvin and gas constant value is 0 0.083 liter bar mole inverse kilo inverse so this is the fixed value for gas constant now what we will do is we will substitute the value of all the parameters given in the formula of osmotic pressure for calculating the molecular mass which is we know we obviously know the formula which is mb equal to wb into r into t divided by pi into v so wb we already have 1.26 gas constant value we already have 0 0.083 temperature we already know it is 300 pi value already mentioned in the question 2.57 into 10 to the power minus 3 volume also we have 0 0.200 liters so when you multiply and do the division you will get 61.022 gram mole inverse let me keep the calculation for you to do it all these numericals are very easy all you need to know is which step to be followed next which will come only when you keep on practicing so keep on practicing the numericals and with practice perfection will come so keep on practicing and if you have any doubt you can always approach me